What's up everyone? I'm out with Ozark Overland Adventures and this is the brand new Iceco VL35 Pro S. It is the newest fridge in their VL Pro uh, series lineup and I, I've had it for a couple weeks now. Uh, putting it to the test, just seeing, you know, just seeing how, how good of a fridge this is and I'm very impressed. So let's get into the details and everything of this fridge. If you have been following my channel since I got the Gladiator, the first fridge that ever went in this was the Iceco VL75 Pro dual zone fridge. That sat in the back of this rig for right at two years. And it is an amazing fridge. If you need a big, you know, 75 liter dual zone fridge, that's the one I recommend. But not everybody needs a massive 75 liter dual zone fridge. A lot of people, you know, just go out on the weekends. A lot of people just go out on solo trips or day trips with the family. And so you don't need a big massive fridge for those type of trips. And that is where the VL35 Pro S, because it is a single zone fridge, that's where it comes into the mix. That is exactly what this fridge is perfect for. Uh, there is plenty of space in here. Uh, I, I, I like to keep all my water in two, li two, uh, two liter water bottles. This is an old Mountain Dew bottle, I think. But this is how I like to store my water when I'm on my trips because uh, I don't have to deal with all the little tiny water bottles. But it's, it's deep enough to keep a two liter in there. There's plenty of room in here for multiple drinks, all your, all your cold foods. There's this nice little shelf up here for you know, smaller things but there's, it, it's got enough in here for, for, for a good long weekend uh, by yourself or a day outing with the family, uh, this, this, or maybe an overnighter with the family. So the, you don't always need the big giant fridges. Now, what makes the Pro Series so special compared to the other VL line is the all black construction. I think it looks amazing, but it's got a thicker wall construction. It is designed to be able to, to be able to withstand some abuse. It's got bumper guards here on each corner. It's got sturdy handles. So you can strap this down in the back of your vehicle. The handles are also removable. So if you need just a little inch of, of extra space to get this to fit, you know, wherever it needs to go, the handles are easily removable. It's got DC ports here on the front for running it off 12 volt. It's got an AC uh, plug in here to run it off you know, wall power at home. And then it's got two USB ports here so that while it's plugged into your vehicle, you need to charge your phone, you can just piggyback off this and it works great. But what I love about the Pro Series is that it also has an additional 12 volt uh, plug in in the back. So right now I've got this in my Gladiator. I've got it running off my auxiliary batteries and it's plugged into the back. So as I you know, move this in and out, I, I don't have to deal with a cord up here getting wrapped around and getting hung on things. Uh, the cord's in the back out of the way. And it's, I, I, think it's, I think it's perfect. The other thing that makes the Pro Series stand out really from, from any other fridge is their lid design. It, it opens from the sides and as you'd expect, you know, you've got the access there, but it opens from both sides without having to take anything apart or flip things around. It uh, very easily switches from one side to the other, which is brilliant and to make loading and unloading super easy, you can easily take the lid off. Uh, no other fridge can do what this one can do as far as the lid goes, and the lid alone separates this fridge uh, apart from the competition. 
as with any fridge uh, you would expect, it's got, you know, obviously your, your temperature control here, it can go down to zero degrees. So if you need to use this as a freezer, maybe the power goes out at home and you need to, you know, turn this down to a freezer and, you know, take all the stuff out of your freezer, uh, your home freezer and put it in here to get you through the power outage. You can do that. Or maybe you're, you're just going out for a hot day um, at the lake or something and you want to take some popsicles for the kids or whatever. Um, you can you can use this as a freezer. Has three levels of battery protection, a high, medium, and a low, so that if you need to run this off the starter battery in your vehicle and you know it's sitting overnight, you know that this is not going to drain your starter battery so that when it's time to get on the move the next day, your, your vehicle will start and you can go. If this senses that the voltage gets too low based on the setting that you've set it at, then it, it, the fridge will shut down. Now, I, I've had that happen before, uh, back when I had my JK, and it, it works. And there's enough insulation in here that if this does shut down in the middle of the night, you're not gonna wake up to a bunch of spoiled food. So, I mean, that's, that's really nice. Now, maybe if you're out in the Mojave Desert, you might. But, you know, normal camping season, you're gonna be fine. Uh, it also has an eco mode and a max mode. So, the max mode is, when it's in your house and you've got it plugged into to, you know, the wall outlet, keep it on max mode, it'll, it'll cool it down real fast. Uh, the eco mode is for when you're out and in your vehicle. It is, it's a little more conservative about when it runs the compressor to be as energy efficient as possible. So uh, when it's in the back of my Jeep, uh, just keep it in eco mode. On the inside of the ISCO, you get a you get a basket, which really helps the loading and, and unloading of this super easy. You just grab the basket, you take it inside to the kitchen, load up everything you need, and come back out and drop this in. It also has a, a nice LED light for accessing what you need at night, and it comes with a handy dandy, very tightly grommeted uh, drain plug, so that if you maybe spill the milk or you know, spill a beverage in there or an egg breaks in your fridge and you need to, to wash it out, just hose the interior down and pull the drain plug to easily clean out the inside of your fridge. That's, that's super handy. Now, the dimensions of this, I, I love. Now, if, if you are familiar with gladiators, they are notorious for having a very short bed depth. And there are very few fridges on the market that you can slide a fridge in, in a gladiator, and be able to run a tonneau cover. Well, the height of this one comes in at just under 16 inches. The depth of the gladiator is right at about 18 inches, 17 inches or so. So this will slide in the back of the gladiator with a tonneau cover on. Um, this is the only fridge that I've ever owned that can do that. Uh, of, of reasonable size. So just under 16 inches tall, just under 16 inches wide, and just over 28 inches long. Lots of places where this is gonna fit, no problem. Back of a Wrangler, back of any SUV, the back seat of many vehicles, you're, you're not gonna have a problem with, uh, with getting this thing to fit. The weight of this is 48 and a half pounds, which is pretty darn good. It's not difficult to move around with the handles. Uh, the metal construction on the side, you know, certainly as to the weight, they could have saved some weight by just going all plastic, but that wouldn't have been as good. One thing I will note about the construction, uh, you see the vents here, how they are angled down and the, it, it's, it's recessed like that. That is designed so that if this is caught out in the rain, water's not gonna get inside there. Uh, my VL75 Pro, which lived in the back of the Gladiator for right at about two years, that fridge saw all the different weathers. Snow, rain, heavy rain, mega dust, and it never stopped working. That thing lived in the back for just over two years, running full time, and it never skipped a beat. The, the, the VO Pro line is built so well, it can, take, it, it can take the abuse of hardcore off-roading, long distance, overland travel. Um, I, it's very well made. My, my 
75 Pro Series. I'm not running it in the back of the Gladiator right now or haven't in the last, uh, really for the, for the last six months or so uh, because it's just so big and I haven't, um, I, I haven't needed a fridge that big. So I've been running the, the APL 55. And now I'm going to run this for, for a little bit. I'm gonna, uh, I will be going out this weekend. This is being filmed on a Monday. On Wednesday, I'm going to be going out on a solo overnight trip to the Ozarks. So be sure to subscribe, please. Um, if, you want to, if you want to see that, see how this does out on the trail on that trip, uh, be sure and subscribe. Uh, we've got a goal of hitting 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We're going to be close. And I need your help to, to just push us over the edge. So be, be sure and subscribe. But I'm going to, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going, to, I'm going to give this a shot and see how well a 35-liter fridge does for, for what I like to do. Well, one of the reasons that I run Iceco fridges in the back of my Gladiator is because I genuinely think that they are the best bang for the buck fridge on the market. They are not, uh, they, they are not a budget brand fridge like, uh, you know, like a Set Power or an Alpacool or a Bouge RV. Uh, there's, there's several of them. This is not a budget brand fridge. This competes with the higher end brands like a Dometic, like a Snowmaster, or like an ARB. So comparing this to what I think its biggest competition is, the Dometic CFX335, same size fridge, pretty much the same dimensions. Uh, the Dometic is all plastic construction. The Dometic does not have, it has a reversible lid, but you have to pop it out, switch it, pop it back in. Uh, it's not this type of easy opening lid like this. It comes in at $880, $879.99, and includes a five-year warranty on the compressor. The Iceco also has the same five-year warranty on the compressor that the big brands have, but this one comes in at $569. So you're gonna save over $300 on the Iceco compared to the Dometic. And if you, if you buy an Iceco fridge and use my discount code, which is Ozark, it will save you 12%, bringing this down to just over $500, $500 and change, which is an incredible value for a fridge this well-made, um, the, the features of this, um, just just really blow the competition away. I'm super impressed by this fridge. Now, what you get uh, with that uh, 569 or 500, if you use the discount code, um, what you get in the box is you, you get your you get your 12 volt cord, obviously. Uh, so you can plug this into any 12 volt socket, uh, or if you have a uh, you know auxiliary battery system like I do, uh, just do what I did and cut the end of this off wire it directly to the batteries or to your uh, outputs and run it, run it that way. So I'm, I'm not using the plug uh, on mine. Mine's hardwired. So you get the 12 volt cord, which is, which is very long. Uh, this is plenty long. So if you, you know, if you only have an, a 12 volt outlet in the front of your vehicle uh, on the dash and you need to put this in the back seat, or, you know, if you've got a, a normal size SUV and need to throw this in the, in the back, this cord will most likely reach up to the front from the back of an SUV. Uh, if your SUV doesn't have, uh, if your SUV doesn't have a cord or have a plug, this will most likely reach to the front of your vehicle if your SUV doesn't have a 12 volt socket in the back. Uh, it comes with the AC cord, uh, of course. It comes with the handy dandy owner's manual, which has everything you need to know. Uh, but then they also include some, some extra bits. Uh, you get, if for some reason, you damage a handle, you get an extra handle. If you know, you're know you running some hardcore trails and this breaks loose of its, uh, uh, of its straps, so it's just sliding around the back of your truck and you, you know, maybe crack or damage one of these bumper guards, uh, it comes with extra bumper guards, which is, which is nice. Extra, extra screws in case you need them. And it also comes with, uh, with an extra drain plug, so. That's nice in case you, you know, are cleaning it out and you lose your drain plug, you got a spare. So I, I, I mean, I just think the, you know, having a few extra parts is a fantastic idea.
Now, like I do in all fridge tests, uh, just to just to test the efficiency of, of how well this runs, how well it cools, uh, how long it will last on a power station. I plug this into my Bluetti EB55. It's a you know, pretty standard 500 watt hour power station that is, is probably the most common size power station most people are gonna use on overlanding car camping trips, that sort of thing. And you know, had a couple two liter bottles of water in here just to help regulate the temperature. Wanted to see just how long this will last. This came in at a very impressive 42 hours and 45 minutes. So almost two full days running off a 500 watt hour power station. Which means if you are, you know, on a weekend overlanding trip and, you know, driving during the day, you've got this plugged into your 12 volt outlet in your vehicle, you get to camp, unplug it from the 12 volt, plug it into the power station, just for your peace of mind about, you know, protecting the starter battery. Maybe you're gonna be camping, you know, for, you know, for a, just, you know, hanging out at camp the next day to go swimming, whatever, um, hiking. Then you know that a, you know, a 500 watt hour power station is gonna keep this running all day long, overnight into the next day and you're gonna be, you're gonna be in good shape uh, with, with how well this is gonna keep your, you know, all your stuff cold and how long it will run off the power stations. Let me know in the comments about what you think about the, the VL35 Pro S. And, you know, what do you think about the size, the, the 35 liters? The good news is if you, if maybe this is a little small, this also comes in a 45, it also comes in a 60 and the, the 75. Uh, dual zone. Uh, so there's multiple sizes for you to choose from uh, in, in the VL Pro Series. Uh, but I, I, I think this thing's going to serve me well. Um, I can't wait to, to get out to the Ozarks uh, in a couple days and take this with me and, and, and see how it does. So uh, if you would give the video a like, like I said, subscribe to the channel, please, if you're not. And if you like what we're doing, you know, if you find these reviews helpful and you know, are inspired by our trip videos and want to consider supporting the channel, gain access to special content, special events, like a big meetup that we're doing at Maris Adventure Park in December, um, and all of our GPS data. Uh, check out the Patreon link in the description. And for, uh, we've got, we got some new merchandise uh, for Ozark Overland Adventures merchandise. Go to shopoverlandapparel.com. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. I'll see you next time. Bye.